Check this out guys, I added another two panels to my solar system. Building a system like this is something you could do yourself at home or off grid. This brings a number of panels from 10 to 12 on this system. This system is now upgraded to almost 3600 watts. Everything I got here to build this system I got off Facebook Market or Amazon. You could do a system like this for about $4,000. The system that I built here will run this tiny house behind me and it's completely off grid. Okay, let's get over here and get to work and upgrade with these two extra panels. But first, a word from my sponsor. This is why I have this battery testing device here by Top Don. This is the Top Don BT100W. This tester is capable of testing any 12 volt battery for cold cranking amps. In this case here, we hooked it to our 2004 Chevy 1500. We are going to do a simple battery test. The cold cranking amp sticker on this battery says that it's rated for 550 cold cranking amps. Once we have it up at 550 cold cranking amps, we're gonna hit enter to do the test. Let's wait while it's testing. And there's a cold cranking amp diagnosis for this battery. It says that the health of this battery is 100%. It's pushing out 714 cold cranking amps. The charge is at 100% at 12.62 volts. The internal resistance is a 4.20. And this battery was rated at 550 cold cranking amps. So 714 cold cranking amps is actually really nice. The Top Don BT100W has several different tests such as cranking and charging test. Right now we're going to do the cranking test. Okay let's hit enter on the cranking test. Uh, it says start engine and it gives us 30 seconds to start the engine. So let's walk around and just start the engine. Okay during the start it showed us at 12.02 volts which was good. Very good actually. And now we're going to go to the last test here which is the charging test. So let's click on the charging, hit the enter. It says, please go start the engine and press enter to continue. And there it is, the charging is normal at 14.2 volts and on a load it is at 14.05. If you like this tester or need this thing, make sure you get one through my link here. There's a discount code where you'll save some money. Now let's get back to some of that off-grid living. You can do it. more foot. Turn, turn the other way. Start going. Don't go the wrong way. You'll be mad if you end up out in the field. <laughs> Come on, baby. What do you think that weighs? That's just one bag of cement, so 80 pounds is what it is. This is going to be a two-day job, so what we're going to have to do is dig the holes today, set the poles, level them all out, put the cement in, wait for, for them to dry, and then tomorrow we're going to be back putting the rest of the, the racks up here where we can add the other two panels. This guy, what is he doing? He's got a boring life. Just kind of crawling around on some metal, doing nothing. Well, he's got something in his mouth. I guess he's eating. Water, we got the level. Now we need to carry the cement over here. Okay guys, it didn't look like a whole lot of work, but it's been a long two days getting this done. When we started, I was at 3100 watts, and now we are at 3580. 
So this was a 3.1 kilowatt system and now it is a 3.5 kilowatt system. What this does is end up bringing my wattage up about 480 watts. I believe I'm going to be getting a new charge controller for this system and upgrading with more panels to get more watts. I think next after that we're going to go ahead and upgrade to the lithium batteries. The plan would be here to get 400 amp hours of lithium batteries. I might have a point. Anybody that supports Biden has got to be uh... Yeah. i never seen... That's two of the biggest idiots, I think. Which one? Obama or Biden? Biden and his girlfriend. I think she's dumber than he is, and if they, you gotta go a mile or two to, uh, uh, you know. Uh. So I also had a larger set of panels there. They were a 72 cell panel. Uh, I changed those out for another 60 cell panel. So um, not only did I add two 60 cell panels, I went ahead and changed the 72s out and put two more 60s in there which the 60 cell doesn't push as much power as the 72, but I wanted a nice clean look. Although I have different types of panels on here, I wanted them all to look good and even. I hope you enjoyed the quick little upgrade. here is this neat little tool that matches my shirt this is the dm262 by ink irma i-n-k-e-r-m-a i wanted to interrupt real quick in the middle of this video and show you what i use this thing for so this thing can do several things uh the thing that i like to use this for is to measure my angle on my solar panels um we all know that the solar panels have to be a certain angle to reach the sun depending on the area where you're at well we are in an area where it is 29 to 30 on the degrees for the angle unfortunately i didn't have this little tool whenever i installed my panels this shows my panels are at the angle of a 9.0 i'm going to angle this about to where my panels should be set which is really far off okay so right around here shows about 29 so my panels, instead of being as flat as they are, they're not completely flat. The camera's flat now. The panels are angled a little bit, but they should be angled like this. So if I would have had this little tool whenever I installed these panels, I definitely would have the angle at a 29 to a 30. This little tool will also measure the inside of a house, the square footage. Um, it'll, it'll do the square meters in the house. Um, you can turn that into the square footage. It does all kinds of neat little things like that.